All right, this is a whaling caverns run, boys. Whaling caverns here with the SFMG priest. SFMG priest, the tournament priest, level 19. Time to do whaling caverns. A little bit sick, sick whaling caverns. This group is all pretty high level though, so 21 rogue, 20 lock. 21 mage 22 druid tank and i'm level 19 healer so we'll be going with this my gear is uh consists of a lot of like uh spirit stamina spirit intellect or just spirit items like you would expect from a leveling priest there you go uh my talent so far i just got one spec and spirit up and i will continue on shadow actually on this character this will be shadow at max level for the tournament when it comes to pvp shadow and and it will be shadow from the leveling already And for those of you that may not be familiar with my healing in the dungeons I do well I do damage when I can you will see me do damage dotting and stuff like that don't have holy fire yet otherwise I like holy fire for some really cheap easy way of adding some damage to the group so instead I will be dotting sometimes and Wanding all the time when possible when it makes sense now i need to wand only to region mana back but uh for those of you who, have, who haven't watched other videos on the dwarf priest i used to say this all the time but uh i use um, different ranks of the heals you know as a priest healer you need to use different ranks so you don't overheal and waste mana and stuff so i have lesser heal lesser heal rank 3 as my most used heal my fastest is the lesser heal rank 1 my biggest heal is uh, heal rank 1 so i'll be using that on the tank a lot i have uh, max rank renew which I only have rank 2 available as my max rank and I have rank 1 renew to, to use on DPS max rank renew goes to the tank rank 1 renew goes to the DPS our warlock's imp just got assassinated there's a big heal and I'll be just wanding my wand is very strong and with the wand spec wand is my biggest weapon here for a while oh the warlock pollet warlock life tap to low and pollet that's cool was this not one of the bosses i should have Wailing Caverns quests, where they at? It's not one of the bosses, I guess. So, uh, we need the, the Crescent stuff. 7 Stamina, 7 Spirit, 7 Intellect. Oops. We need that crescent stuff. Which is from this quest, Leaders of the Fang. This is beast stuff for a while. Oh, we have a lot of dots actually. Warlock dots and my dots. Yeah, that's good. Let's stop the tank before he pulls. What are these shoulders? Oh, from Wailing Caverns. 
We also get shoulders with stamina and intellect from the gem. The gem from the last boss. So yeah. A lot of good stuff. Oh, that, that there is a healer down back there. Oh. I didn't put this spell on this bar. Uh, I have the second bar for healing, so we put this spell. Does Locke have this spell? Only the Fell Hunter pet can dispel. But the Fell Hunter's dispel has a uh, cooldown and it's uh, one dispel at the time, so it's not ready. It's not a very good dispel. Ah! Healing, right. There we go. I need to show healing. In my RFC run, I didn't have uh, show healing. So the healing was not seen. Now you can see the little renew ticks. Let's press hard on the damage, see if we can maybe do the damage of one of the DPS. That's how I like to do it. You, you know, we need to be more... Uh, we need to be flexible and not sit there with full mana. Obviously not DPS too much and oom yourself for no reason. You don't want that as a healer. That's horrible. But instead of sitting at 100% mana a lot, some dotting here and there is doable. I'm so close to the dink, it's crazy. I'm one mob away from Ding. When I get Holy Fire, which is at level 20 now, well, I'm not gonna learn it, so I will not have it for this. When I get Holy Fire, that's a very cheap way to do damage. Ah, I didn't mention one thing as an introduction, let's say. Uh, the way I target my party members is with macros. So now I'm gonna get improved Shadow Word Pain here on this Shadow Spec for leveling as well. Grats, grats, thank you. I'm gonna get improved Shadow Word Pain. Dotting and wanding is also decent damage. Now that I have the talent increases the duration, you know, it can last longer on mobs that are we are not killing first. The mob that we kill first sometimes will die before the Shadow Word Pain even ticks half the duration. But dot and one, then uh, my mana starts regening. So many patrols running in and shit, what's going on? A disaster. A bit of a disaster going on. Warlock, you're good, bro. Oh, he HP potted. No panic, no panic. <coughs> What's the duration? Three second duration increase. So the way I heal, the way I target my allies in a 5-man group is uh, I do it with macro like uh, target party 1, 2, 3, 4 and then I put them on the keybinds here. I have 1, party 2, 3, 4 so I target them and then I give them heals like this. I don't do mouse over healing. I think this is better for 5-man because mouse over makes you tunnel more you know if you're a healer if you want to learn a different style of healing in five man groups you definitely should try the 
Party target across. Because if your mouse over healing, first of all, you are potentially tunneling. Wow, that's a lot of mobs. They call for help. The raptors, when they are low, they call for help, so... So if you guys want to learn a different style... My bracer gives three spirit, it's better in my opinion. You know, if your mouse over healing, you're first of all tunneling on the on the, the party frame. Here I can look at the HP of the mobs and spot low level low HP mobs. Potentially get a snipe for the spirit tap and stuff like that. I do have some uh, food buff here, two stamina, two spirit food buff. And I have grenades I've been forgetting so far. I have grenades when we pull more than one mob. I can throw grenades for AoE damage. It's gonna be dot. Dot. One grenade. Top the druid. Top the tank before he pulls. She's trying to sleep me there. But I'm an undead. Let's do a heal. A lesser on the rogue. Renew on the tank. One dot. And we go back to regening. I got some sort of bag. Oh, I got a 10 slot bag from her. My bags are 10 slot and 12 slot. Can I trade it to anyone? I think I can trade it to one of these guys. Uh, roll if you need 10 slot bag. No one is rolling. Nice. No interest in my bag. I'm willing to give it. Oh, this warlock is first aiding or healing himself a lot because I don't... I don't need to heal him that much. It's cool if the warlock doesn't life tap so often and stuff, you know. You, he, to the point where he needs heal spam. So we're gonna get the we're gonna get the crescent stuff from the quest and there is a few cloth items from the bosses we just killed lady anaconda she couldn't drop anything for me no cloth items but from the future bosses there are some cool items this is a tournament character and i don't think i'll be doing as much dungeons as i did on the dwarf priest if you guys remember because on that one I was doing a dungeon or two dungeons every day. Two dungeons per day every day, so... Just for the content and for fun, because dungeons are fun as a priest. But I think if I have a zone with quests available at my level, and I'm doing a dungeon where I don't have any quests, then it would be better to quest. But I'm doing Wailing Caverns the first time and I have five quests. And one quest that we get inside from the glowing gem when we do the last boss. So there is that. But I don't think I'll be doing more Wailing Caverns. Potentially the next dungeon I may do is like... Uh, Zulfarak. With, uh, with all the quests. Scarlet Monastery? I don't even know, to be honest. So 
So yeah, I think it would be faster to level. Because for the for the tournament what would be good is to get level 60 fast and then start doing some end game dungeons. Better than trying to be better than trying to repeat dungeons for leveling and getting gear, but less efficient for the leveling. Better to get to 60 and try to get gear at 60. Endgame gear is what will matter the most anyway. The tournament will be level 60 when it comes to the dueling. But this character is a good opportunity to, to upload videos with um, RFC and Wailing Caverns because I didn't do those on the Dwarf. Uh, we skip? Yeah, as you want. He wants to skip that pack because there is no chest. There is no boss there either, so I don't care. There is no boss we're skipping. Oh yeah, I just... As long as we are consistently going... We do it fast. Consistently going fast run Complete the quests There are two quests that I'm not going to complete because We didn't roll for it or anything to see who gets it Sometimes people roll and whoever rolls the highest The first one to loot all the Deviate Heights for example Deviate Heights, Serpent Bloom <laughs> We are too many people I'm sick. I'm sick and it feels like it's getting worse. My nose is blocked. I'm getting some sneezing action. At least my headache is not so big. It used to have a bigger headache until yesterday. So I'm probably not gonna do all the quests, but the quest for the stuff is big experience. And whatnot. There is a chest there, so we're going to do this, I guess. These mobs sleep. In this dungeon we have sleep. So I'm ready to dispel it at all times. Danny the Dwarf Paladin is still alive? Yeah, the Dwarf Paladin is alive, man. Big Bertha is alive. You want the stuff from the last boss in Wailing Caverns? I want the stuff from the quest. What's the stuff from the last boss? Okay, I guess you just mean the quest. From the last boss we get a ring. Spirit, stamina, intellect. That would be sick for leveling. I rolled 16 for the chest. I got outrolled by everybody. <laughs> but I think that guy just ninja the chest straight up. <coughs> the dwarf paladin is alive, yeah, but the dwarf paladin has to wait because you know if I wanna play on the tournament I have to play as much as possible on this. the stuff from the last boss uh, from the third boss I know what stuff you mean now the living root no I will use the the one from the quest this one is uh, 12 spirit which is 5 spirit more than the one from the quest 
But the one from the quest gives 7 intellect as well and more stamina so it's bigger variety of stats and more stats overall. Two int and two spirit. Oh, I will need on this. It's a little upgrade from mine in my opinion. Mine is three spirit. Sacrifice one spirit to gain two int. Total amount of stats is four. My bracer gives three. Three spirit. So. Yeah, that, that stuff is not bad at all. With 12 spirit from that boss. But... Losing 5 spirit to gain 8 intellect and 5 stamina is okay. It's, good. it's better, I mean. In hardcore, after all, stamina matters because... Who knows, while you're questing, a patrol can run in and... A lot of shit can happen. And having extra HP can help you. On a regular server where you don't care if you die, yeah, spirit and intellect all the way, I think. But in hardcore, stamina and spirit is even a better combination. Stamina, spirit, just spirit, stamina, intellect. A line of sight to sleep here. I have the grenades, so let's use fade. Grenades on CD. Everyone is dropping a little bit here. Let's cast a small heal on everybody. One of each. I'm an undead, bro. Nice sleep. Prospector's boots. Which ones were those? Leather. Leather, no need. Yeah, let's drink just in case. Uh, Lord Cobra can drop a uh, good cloth item if I remember well. Um, it's not really that good. Six spirit, two stamina. Mine gives four spirit, four intellect. I'll keep spirit and int. Incoming funk leggings. Maybe. We do have a druid tank and a rogue who would love the leggings. You will never wake the dreamer. Grenade on four mobs, big AOE. Look at that. Boom. 22 on everyone. The leggings are agility, stamina, strength. Oh yeah, his legs. Oh nice man. You called it. You call that shit. Look at how much stats that is. This is like if you go to dead mines, you get the uh, the chest from the last boss. 9 Agi, 5 Strength, 4 Stamina. This thing is bis until who knows when. And the Druid is the one that won it. The Druid rolled 98. The Rogue rolled 52. Rip. Hey, shoulders. But they are leather. I can do a gift to the rogue or the druid, the druid. Increase my tank's armor by 56. That will help me here. Oh, crash. Hello, crash. Oh, the druid did have shoulders already. Never mind. 34 armor and health regen. He's not gonna replace that. 
for it. It's a blue holder. Wow. Crashes back drops. 13%. And it actually drops now. When I did this on my Orc Warrior. Missy Priest and Charge. This shit did not drop. I got scammed. Need intellect to rebuff. 30 seconds left. This is for you, Mr. Rogue. But it's only swag. Only swag for the rest of this dungeon. Looking sharp. Looking sharp, brother. Damn right, brother. At the end of this dungeon, even for the rogue, it's better to use the shoulders from the gem. From the glowing gem, you know. The famous glowing gem. The quest item that drops from the last boss and then you gotta go to Ratchet and then you gotta go above Wailing Caverns on the mountain and then to Ratchet again and I don't know what, what it was. And then there is uh, stamina and intellect shoulders. Just for the two stamina it's good to use even on on the rogue, on the warrior. No other shoulders with stats this early so... This, this leather ones is just just to look sharp. I like the way we're doing it. I like the way we, we cleared that part first. It's all good here. Uh, we're not skipping this. Okay, I was wondering if they want to skip. If the rogue can go and kick the caster, that would be biz. <coughs> In this case, having a heal on the tank is even... Uh, not having a heal on the tank is even okay. Because the caster would aggro me if I put a heal. Are those the shoulders that look really stupid on warrior and rogue? Light green? Yeah, those are light green. I am out DPSing the mage? Yeah. I mean, the mage is not using arcane explosion, he's just in single targeting. Could be using arcane explosion when we do a multi mob pull. All his damage is frostbolt and some fire blast. One blizzard, I see. My dot and wand is out DPS in his frostbolt casts. It's just how it is at this level, wand is very powerful. And I'm, I'm a class with a wand talent. So if he doesn't AOE on multi-mob pulls. That's the power of the... The dot and wand early on as a priest. If you want to help the group with damage, you definitely can. Definitely not fun and definitely not good. To just stay AFK with 100% mana. So dotting mobs is okay. As long as you don't doom yourself. Dotting too much. When it's not necessary. Now there is male shoulders as well. I'm getting all sorts of shoulders except cloth that I could use I need to throw something something cheap because I'm gonna run out of space for the quest items even this is when we we throw a big heal with the renew and now back to regening mana. 
Ah, I could have done this. That's my bad. I have this uh, minor wizard oil. It's 8 spell power and healing. That will help a bit. Actually, spell damage only, not, not healing. Sorry, I forgot someone earlier was asking in the chat. What, do, what is my favorite dungeon? <coughs> What's my favorite dungeon? Hmm. I don't know if I have a favorite dungeon. My favorite raid, I gotta say, is Sunwell. I really liked Sunwell. TBC raid. But if we're talking only classic, then never mind. But dungeon in classic, my favorite. Uh, that's a big AOE right there with the nade. Sunken Temple is your favorite. Sunken Temple Beast. Um. I do like Dead Mines quite a lot. You can get good good items from there. I have to think about it, but uh, definitely one of my favorites is Scarlet Monastery Cathedral. Because of the loot you can get as a caster there. Priest loot is very nice there. When it comes to the leveling dungeons, end game max level dungeons, Scholomans. Scholomans has really good loot for priest for PvP. I did a lot of Scholomans back in original classic to get the Necropile set. The Necropile set would be nice to have now in the tournament. Who knows? Danny, are you participating in the tournament? Yeah, yeah. People with SFMG at the end of the name. We are participating on the tournament. Stratholm is really nice. Yeah. I guess Strat Home is not bad. Is this the way to go? Uh, I guess so. I guess it's one of the options. The one from BFD Quest? Yeah, for sure. The one from BFD quest is good. The one from BFD quest is bis until level uh, 37 or so. Because at 37 you can start getting one with stats. At 37 the wand is used less for damage with it. And you can get a wand from the auction house that drops for people. Uh, that gives like 3 intellect, 3 spirit, 3 stamina. It's like three of the stats, something like that. And at, at that level, better to have uh, one of those with stats than the BFD. But yeah, of course, that one from BFD is beast when you get it and for the next 12 levels until 37 or so. Wait, my belt broke? What? Never had an item break like this. Haven't repaired in a while or what? Uh, one patrol. Left. Left patrol incoming. If 
we just don't pull more, it's all good. Uh, let's heal the tank here first. Lock is okay. Keep up the dot here as well. Oh, the mace. Nice. Mace is big. 2.8 speed, 57 top damage. What? The rogue didn't need it? Maybe he has it? Oh, he's, he's playing dagger and he's sticking to the dagger. Dedicated dagger rogue. Bro, this maze does so much damage, man. <coughs> Where is the cloth loot, by the way? Lord Cobra didn't drop the cloth. Lady and the Conjurer didn't even have a cloth. This guy, Lord Pythas, didn't have a cloth. I think it's the, the biggest item here is the, the the one from the last boss, the big ring here with a lot of spirit and stamina and int. And then obviously from the glowing gem, shoulders. Look at the experience though, I'm half level into 20 now. Definitely dungeon is worth to do when when it's the first time with a lot of quests including the quests it will give me a full level i think 20 in here right and now i'm 20 and a half and we are not done so by the time we're done i'll be more than half into level 20 and with the quest turn ins i guess i'll be 21 so nice quick level up there from uh from a whaling caverns run I need to throw the cheapest stuff that the vendor is for the cheapest. Partially di digested meat. I need to not throw the gem though for the quest. Kick. Do we have rare? Deviate fairy dragon. Let's see if uh, the fairy dragon is here. He can drop a nice wand. I don't know if it patrols or where it is exactly. Classic, I must say, strat home for the wand with frost damage needed in AQ40. This dungeon is leather heaven. Yeah. A lot of leather action in here. This tank is doing decent damage. Let's see if we can get to the damage of the tank. One mage. One of the casters, the mage, has been out DPS'd. Let's get to the tank. Anybody happen to know plus 14 or plus 4 agi better for rogue? Plus 14 attack power. For your dagger spec the agi. Crit. Maybe better for combat. I mean, the difference is probably not big, but generally as a rogue, from what I remember, I had a rogue in classic. Generally the way you, the way you think about it. Attack, uh, attack power is better for ammo PvP spec and for combat sword rogues. But agility is better for dagger spec. Dagger spec wants to crit more. If you're dagger spec and you don't crit, the spec is very scuffed. Your damage is very bad. 
Wow, five spirit. But I have stamina and intellect. So generally for daggers, agility is better. Because you need to crit more. Then the attack power would be better. For the swords. Ah, oh, we have fear here. Someone is getting slept, the rogue. A little disaster. Uh, let's regen mana. Give him a big heal now. It's nice how this rogue is finishing the runners. Oh my god, he was getting feared into the boss, dude. Dispel them clutch a bit. It's nice how the rogue is finishing the running mobs when they are low and they run. He knows what's up. Those runners a lot of the times fuck you up so hard. They can pull more. Range check. Wait, we have a range check? Bruh. It's a level 20 boss, man. Why does the mage have no gear? Did it break? I think the little man's gear broke. The name of this boss come in Swedish is slang for dodgy or strange. Yeah, this boss is very scum. <coughs> 6 RG2 spirit. What a nice leveling cloak for the druid or the rogue. Aji and spirit, man. You want spirit for leveling, you want Aji as a rogue. Dude, what is this bug? Why do I see him naked? But he has pants. Maybe they broke. The druid won this as well. The druid won this item as well. I forgot the grenade, man. God damn it. Forgot to throw this. The druid is go doing a good job tanking, yeah. This guy is saying he deserves it. He's not wrong. That mage items might be broken, yeah. But my broke too. Mine broke too. My belt is broken, I'm surprised. Just from tanking so many mobs and not repairing in a while, I guess. There is stamina. No, yeah, yeah, it's not broken. Red is broken. If it's red, it's completely broken, and I don't even get the stats from it. If it's yellow, it's just a little broken. I'm still getting the spirit and the stamina from it. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Honestly, on the Dwarf Priest, I was doing Holy Fire. On this one, since it's gonna be Shadow, I can do Dot and Want. Seems like a similar thing. Select and Spirit, that's the exactly the ones I, I needed earlier. Dot and Want is good too, because... I start regening. The Dot is sticking, the Wanding is good. Huh. <laughs> 
Oh, the patrol, the patrol. Kill the patrol. Definitely kill the patrol. Remember what happened in the BRD? Remember what the dwarf priest died to? I'm pulling it. I'm not the tank, but I'll pull it. Don't forget the dwarf priest. Almost every time I do wailing caverns, when we are done, I'm missing stuff from quests. Yeah, this is typical, man. That's classic. Like, no way I'll get all the hides. I have five deviate hides. Just quests that I will skip. Massive Shadow Ward pain damage, the oil carrying. Yeah, look at that oil, man. The minor wizard oil with the 8 spell power. Big to the druid damage yeah yeah you can do it outside of the dungeon alone yeah but they are elites so Druid is running home. Probably no innervate at this level yet. Okay, so we have two more bosses actually. No, one more. Serpent is. Was a little grenade moment here. We did have three mobs together. <coughs> Look at this rogue, he's pumping the rogue is pumping the interrupts, he's even gouging when he doesn't have kick. <sighs> Just to interrupt. got some space actually ah there he is lord serpentis actually we don't have much left it's very smooth so far very smooth very nice little chill waiting caverns here there is the big boss One's too OP. Yeah. Lord Serpentis. What can we even drop? Or Aji for intellect. Gloves. Kek. Thank you. 
Nice, he's pulling them like uh, one by one as well around the boss without pulling the boss. Nice. I resisted. Nice. Why did it not show? Floating combat text is enabled, but it's not showing that I resisted. It has the dodge parries misses. I don't know why it's not showing the resist. It should. So one person finished the 10 serpent blooms. The others either don't care or... Yeah, the others just don't care, I guess. Oh, whoa, whoa, shit. What was that damage? Dude, that's a fast heal, but... Um... Oh my god, man. This mobs, this uh, boss slaps. That heal was fast, but it's really small. Holy shit. I looked at the chat for one sec, oh my god. There is the stuff you were wondering about, but again, I would prefer the, the one with the stamina and the intellect. That other one is 5 stamina more. Six out of seven on the main quest? No. I have seven of all the mobs on this quest. Is this one better? No. And then I have uh, complete on this quest, the most important for the stuff. 19, 99 year old port is from a goblin outside of the dungeon he was dead when we came serpent bloom and deviate heights i don't think i'll even do them is everyone on this server hardcore yeah yeah this is a hardcore server so every character is hardcore that hasn't died. Uh, I've been expecting you. May the eternal and now we do shine. the final event. Now the little chill event. We will run to the last boss. And this guy will start the event. You know how it goes. But he's slow I think. He's not even moving. Come on bro. He says you must protect me. We are already there, man. Danny, you are getting praised by Zaryu? Yeah, I saw Zaryu's reaction video. That's nice. I like the reaction. Uh, my current stuff is 4 intellect and 5 stamina uh, 4 stamina, 5 intellect You know the quest in Stone Talon Mountains to kill the spider elite? Arcanophobia or something phobia Right, uh, right Around here somewhere It's uh, the stuff from that quest Something phobia. Some sort of phobia.
Any guide for spending talent points on a hardcore priest? Uh, I like uh, for hardcore the smite spec the most. The holy spec. If you watched my dwarf priest videos or stream, I was playing with this spec. There is a link in the chat. That spec buffs your smite for when you're solo questing and it buffs your healing for when you heal dungeons. On this character specifically though, I'll go shadow just to get a little bit into the shadow mindset. Because at max level for the tournament I'll be shadow. The only tournament character in this dungeon? Yeah. I mean, the dungeon people aren't even that many. I mean, okay, we it, we are a lot. There is like 2,000 people so far. For the tournament. But... Still, that's barely maybe, what, 10%? No, 5%? 2% of the server? You're, I don't encounter them very often in the world. There's so many layers and people are split between the different zones. But this guild has 200 people online right now. This is the second guild of the tournament. Alright, we're getting near the end, Wailing Caverns. Will be nice little shoulders. Maybe we get a nice little ring. Not little at all, actually. Big ring. Level 21, I won't be able to equip it immediately. <coughs> Beyond this corridor, Narolex lies in fitful sleep. Let us go awaken him before it's too late. Hell yeah, man, let's go. Pump it. Go crazy. Guys, how do you keep WoW fun? Well, you either play your favorite class. That's one way. People, people can play the same class, the same thing for years and years. Either play your favorite class or play a lot of different classes. Something that you don't know how to play. Completely out of the comfort zone. Some people to keep it fun they like to learn new things, learn a new class. Some people to keep it fun they, they have one favorite class that they play forever. I like to learn different to be honest. Hardcore has made me learn a lot of different things. I played warrior till level 45, it was my first warrior really. As a streamer, yeah, streamers have fun by playing with their community spectating, yeah. It's also fun if you're sharing the adventure with other people through uh, streaming or YouTube or something like that.
incoming ring da coming ring you say the problem with the ring is that first of all it's low drop rate second of all we we are three people who are waiting to need on it uh, this is definitely stats upgrade total of eight stats minus three stat uh, six total three and three this is four and four spirit and stamina i'm needing all right the uh, morlock is coming boys Dwarf Priest dead. No Petri. Yeah, no Petri flask was a mistake. Defuse the Petri flask. Oh, this guy is immune to Shadow Word pain. What? This guy is immune to pain, huh? He does not feel pain. What a chad. this spirit and the warlock wins it with uh, with an 81 roll my roll was six six roll man when it matters my roll is shit six but otherwise for some random trash green items i roll 100 90, 80, 70. Eh. Well, there you go. Such is the life, I guess. Well, for the YouTube later on, when this gets uploaded, we can end it right here. This was uh, Wailing Caverns run pretty much. First Wailing Caverns run in Hardcore. No other dungeons though that uh, I haven't done on the Dwarf Priest. So we'll see what uh, else I can upload with this character. Uh, well, on the Dwarf Priest I didn't do endgame dungeons. But yeah, because it didn't get there. The little man died before that. Saj. Uh, but yeah... With this one, we doing Wailing Caverns, and yeah. Total damage done, 34k. Shadow Word, Pain, and Wand. Wand is still 61% of the damage. Still did the most. And uh, healing done is 22k, so more damage than healing. Helping uh, speed up the dungeon a bit when possible, you know. Making it more fun. DPSing a bit. It was a cool run. GG here. Uh, thank you for the group. Good luck.